Uh, hello everybody from Paris where I spend the last couple of days in the annual meeting of the Trilateral Commission and we discuss a ton of things but there was one in particular that I thought was very interesting because it dominated a large chunk of the debate which was the state of the economy and the state of the digital uh, side of the economy so digital companies and others and there were five trends that I thought were very interesting that were pointed out and their consequences so I'll go one by one the first was in fact that the rate of churn of companies has been going down across advanced economies this is the rate at which companies are born and die. Uh, so there is less renewal in the economy uh, from the point of view of the companies that are in and out of it. Uh, the second uh, has been that the number of purchases by GAFA companies, so these are digital companies like Google and Amazon and Facebook, has gone up. So they've been very active in purchasing uh, some of their competitors when they're of a smaller scale, so that has gone up. Uh, the third trend has been the decline in the power of unions and others to collective bargain, to bargain collectively in favor of the interest of their workers. This is particularly true in the digital economy and in the gig economy, so you know, delivery companies and ride hailing companies, etc. etc. The fourth trend has been that we've seen a decline in the labor income share. So the total amount of national income going to labor, to labor income earners, to salaries fundamentally, uh, has declined over the past few years, in fact decades. Uh, in most advanced economies, right? Um, and that's very significant because it tells you that across the economy, most income is in fact going to capital income earners and less so to labor income earners. And the fifth trend has been uh, that productivity growth has stalled, right? So in the 90s, uh, productivity growth actually increased and now we've seen a slowing down of productivity growth and this is surprising to a lot of people because in principle what technology should do is it should feed productivity growth further moving forward, right? The thesis here is that in fact it grew in the 90s and early 2000s because these digital companies were still expanding and growing but once they had grown uh, they in fact stalled productivity growth across the economy. So what do these five trends tell us? I think they tell us that we have a competition problem within our markets, that the digital economy has these forces within it that uh, produce either oligopolistic or outright monopolistic tendencies, that productivity growth is not disseminating, is not diffusing across the economy, that this is affecting salary and this is affecting um, workers across the world and the state of competition. So my thesis, and I think this is one of the most interesting conclusions coming out of this weekend, is that in fact we're going to see a revamping of competition and antitrust policy in most of these markets. We've already seen this in the US, we've seen it in Europe, and we're going to see action, I think, against some of these large companies. And we're going to need a redefinition of competition policies because, you know, how do you how do you prove market dominance and abuse of market position when you're not charging your clients for anything? Because these services are free, right? Your email is free. Uh, the usage of many of these apps is free, except of the actual payment for particular services. So how do you how do you reshape those norms? But coming out of this meeting, I'm now more certain than ever that in fact we're going to have to do precisely that. So bye bye.